We've seen so many different responses across the globe in terms of, of folks trying to track these cases. In Singapore, Maddie and I were just having this conversation. Um, you know, there's track and trace. We've also got something very similar here in the UAE. But, you know, these, these systems are not foolproof. The success rates in places like Singapore, in the UAE and elsewhere, versus what we've seen in North America, for example, as we head into this U.S. presidential election. Um, you know, is there something in your view that uh, the next president of the United States, be he President Trump or potentially a President Biden, could do um, in the short term to cut back um, in terms of or clamp down, if you will, on this kind of surge? Well, there are so many things that they can and should be doing, starting with clear and consistent messaging to the public. That is clearly not happening. The president is not taking responsibility, is not providing clear evidence-based scientific advice to the public on what they need to do to, to minimise their risk. Uh, that needs to be backed up by um, by regulation, by, by legislation that um, enforces um, lockdown measures, pandemic pr um, pr uh, prevention measures. Uh, there needs to be national coordination. There needs to be proper investment in public health. There needs to be a scaling up of test and tracing, uh, scaling up of facilities that are available for isolation. Um, many, many things that they should be doing uh, that they're not currently doing. And let's hope after the election that they do start doing it because they are in for a terrible winter. How far away are we from a vaccine? And that also won't be a silver bullet either. You have some concerns about the distribution of a vaccine when we finally get one. Yeah, globally, I think the building blocks have been put in place for the equitable um, and, and widespread distribution of a vaccine uh, through um, the, the WHO-led initiatives uh, and the, uh, the World Bank uh, financing initiative. Um, that, however, um, the United States needs to come to the party. They do need to participate in that. They're the biggest global economy. They've got um, a large proportion of the global uh, scientific um, you know, mind bank when it comes to how we can um, uh, develop and roll out a vaccine. Uh, without them participating, it's going to be so much more difficult. But it is heartening to see uh, the rest of the world uh, coming together. And, you know, the US just has to join them. There's, there's no other way.